Hi, this is a demonstration video on how to change the ink, cartridge, cassette, and correction tape ribbon, I guess you would say, on a Nakatima WPT-160. WPT-160, and there's the brand, Nakatima. So, the first thing you gotta do obviously is open it up so you can have access to the cartridge and the correction ribbon and you just grab the two sides here there's nothing to unlock you just grab this section will lift up and hinge you can close this first and you can snap it down you can but just pull up on this on both sides grab it and pull up and it hinges it will stay back there and inside this is your ink ribbon cassette cartridge whatever you want to call it these come out very easily there's a simple little metal see this metal tab right here that's the only thing that really holds this in place so to take it out you just put some pressure on it pushing back towards the back of the machine and then it snaps out and then see those little two these two things right here one on each side those line up with Let's see if I can show you inside. I don't know if we'll be able to see far enough back. There is, sorry about the video, but see there's two in there's two holes back there. One here and one here. Right there, those two. Those two holes are where that one and that tab go into. So it's really easy. When you get a new cartridge, obviously you pull the old one out if it's one in there, and then you just take the new cartridge. Here's, let's say this is the new cartridge, and you just lay it in, in the middle here, and you make sure that those two tabs are in to those two holes in the far back of the plate that's underneath it there. Basically everything will be centered, so you'll see that this hammer here will line up to the middle. And then um, once you know that it's, it's, you can feel it's kind of centered in there and in place, just push it down, and then this metal tab locks it into place. You hear that snap, and that's it. So that's real simple. Now, if you put a new cartridge in and you see that the the ink ribbon which is this black right here you know if you see that that's kind of loose you can just turn this knob counterclockwise to, to tighten it up and it will pull some of that ribbon through there you just hear it you'll hear some clicks as it as it tightens it but if it's uh if there's no wrinkles or anything in it no slack in it then you just leave it and it should function just fine so that's really all there is to changing that. Now to change the correction, it's a little bit more involved. They don't use a cartridge, but rather they use a spool. This is the feeder spool. This is where all the fresh correction tape comes off. It comes up here and it kind of goes around a, a curve. This this little, uh, there's a kind of, there's just a piece of plastic here that it curves around and then it, and it goes all the way across and then it comes back on the other side here. Comes back down and then there's your take up reel. So you can see the letters on there. Um, see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yep, so there's your take up reel. You can see where it's been used already. This one's got quite a bit used on it, so um, eventually I'll have to change that out. But 
So when you get a replacement correction tape, you get you get this take up reel and you get this reel that's got all the fresh ribbon on it. And so to replace it, uh, let me see here. I'm going to set this camera down and give you a little better, hopefully better look to what's inside here. All right. So, sorry about the camera work. So these reels, this one's just held on with pressure. There's no locking mechanism. And the part that has the correction material on it is the part that's on this side of the ribbon. So it's the part that's facing down towards the center of the spool. You know, when you, it's like a roll of tape, it's this, this to be the sticky side, that's that's the part that has the correction on it. They call it the powdered side. And so that comes up and it's facing up at this point, but then it curves around this little plastic piece right here. And then, then it's facing the paper as it curves around there. And then it goes all the way across and of course comes out the other side to the take up reel. So to change this out, um, I don't know if I can do this without my hands getting in the way, but um, you really, here, let me just show you from here, really it's a simple matter of pulling this off. Okay, that's all there is to it. And then See, this lifts up, and then you can set this down. I'm doing this with one hand, so it's a little tricky. And then the other side, the take-up spool is locked in place, but it's nothing that you have to undo, or there's no screw or set screw or anything. You just pull it off straight, and it will. You'll hear a snap as it comes as it gets released. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull on it here. Probably while hold, holding on to this, just so you're not putting so much tension on the carriage. But you can hold this in place, and grab this and pull it and snap. See how it popped right out? And there it is. So, to replace this, it's really just the reverse of what we just did. So if you got one of these new, this is how they come. They're already pre-rolled, you know. This one will be full, and then this would be empty for obviously the new one. This one's getting full because it's been used, but. So then you just take them, hold them in your hands in this, in this orientation here, okay. And you don't want them twisted. This one's a little twisted at the moment, but it, you just uh, hold it out. Let's see if we can get this right here. And you're gonna wanna orientate so that this side, this side is facing the, the uh, paper roll. Okay, so you'll wanna turn it this way, okay. Let me put this on wide angle so you can see more. So you're gonna to wanna to turn it. So this is gonna go on. So this goes on first, this little part with the little teeth on it. All right, you're gonna put that one on. Just push it. Let me show you. I just pushed it on there okay and then slide it in there we have to hold the carriage from moving because it tends to move and you can see that there's little teeth in there let me give you a close-up sorry let me get a close-up see how there's a little kind of a 
See how there's little holes in there that line up with these little yellow teeth. You just line those up and push it on. Okay, and that's a, it. That's all that's holding it on there is some pressure. And then the tape's going to come up, and you're just going to make sure you twist it so that the this portion is facing the paper roller. Pull it up like this. Hard to do one-handed. Okay, there we go. And then you just string it across. See if I can get that down in there. Okay. And then now we're coming around the other side. So, sorry about the crappy video, but that's a one-handed video job, I guess. So see how it's lined up? It, it The back side here, it, it comes up and it twists. Sorry, and it twists and it turns around. Just on the back side of this. And then it goes through to the other side. And then, on this side, we just need to realign it. And we're just gonna push it onto the spindle here. See that little pin? And it's it's going to snap. Let's make sure our tape is not in the way there. There we go. We can take up this slack after we snap it in. So now it's on that pin. All you have to do is push it in while holding the, the carriage into place so it doesn't slide. Because you see the carriage is going to want to slide as you push it. We'll just push in on this. And you hear that snap. Now what you can do is just take up the slack. Here by turning this and make sure that it's lined up right around the top here, just like that. Okay, now it's all set up. This side of the tape kind of curves around this side and that is now facing the back the roller comes around here around this side and then it just goes down onto this reel and that's it now it's locked in place and ready to go now you can put your cartridge back in that's obviously pretty simple again just line it up in the middle here make sure it's Make sure these bottom nubs here are latched in into the back there. You just kind of feel for it. This will be in the middle. This hammer will be lined up in the middle. And you just push down until that locks in. Now she's ready to go. So, and you can just lower down your top. Snap that into place. One thing I I will say, incidentally, I noticed that these these little plastic pieces, you know, those are what latch it into place when you close the lid. And I put just a tiny bit of plastic compatible grease on those. There's one on each side, so when they come down on the latch into these holes you know you don't want these people these breaking off so I just put just a little bit of grease on there so it snaps into place nicely and I did the same with these I just put a tiny bit of little grease just a tiny bit so when it latches down onto the edge here when you close it it doesn't get hung up on that and it just works a little smoother 
So, anyway. So, that's it. I'll show you that it works real quick here. Plug her in. Little piece of paper in here. Got my paper released. Okay, and then we'll turn this thing on. Yeah, it's going to it's just doing all of its check sets. But if I type in T plus T, so you can see, and let me zoom in a little bit. I type the word test. Now to erase that, I'll say I want to erase the T on the keyboard here. This is your erase button. That's your delete. So I'm going to hit that and you'll see, I'll show you what it's doing here as best I can. It'll focus here. I'm going to hit that. See, it comes back and it hits it twice with that correction ribbon. And now, you can see the T is gone. If I hit it again, I don't know why this thing won't focus. It must be too close. If I hit it again, see, that's how it does the erase on these typewriters, or this particular one anyway. Anyway, that's all I had. I just wanted to show how to replace Sorry about the shaky video, but hopefully you can see how it works. Thanks for viewing.